had to be a builder. Say what? That's right, a builder. Every day we're making decisions for how we're going to build our lives. Are we going to build God's way or our way? The only way to build well is to build our lives on Jesus. Jesus tells us to love the Lord our God with all of our hearts, souls, mind, and strength. And one way we can express that love is by singing to Him. Let's spend some time singing and praising Jesus right now. Stand up, everybody. Come on, stand up, and let's give Jesus our best praise.
it's time to play the exploding fruit game. Everybody stand up and get ready to choose your favorite fruit. For cantaloupe, stand on the left side of the room. For watermelon, stand in the middle. For honeydew, stand on the right. Choose wisely, because if your fruit explodes, you're out of the game! If you chose watermelon, you are out. This time, we have a pineapple, a coconut, and a watermelon. You know what to do. If you chose the pineapple, then you're out. And for the last round, we have a coconut, a cantaloupe, and a pineapple. Good luck! chose the coconut, I'm afraid you're out. Thanks for playing with us. Bye bye Hey, hey, friends. I'm Mr. Ethan, and I'm a little bit confused. You see, I'm trying to build a chair out of these supplies that I got from the hardware shop but I'm having some trouble. I want to build well because I need a chair that will last. This chair can't fall apart on me like the last one. <laughs> Ouch. You know what I should do? Eat a cheese stick because cheese sticks help me think. I got it. I know. I should call my friend Stephanie from Steph's Hardware Shop. She's just the right person to help me with this. Hold on a sec. Thank you for calling Steph's Hardware, where we help you build well. This is Stephanie. How can I help you? Stephanie. Oh, I'm so happy you answered. I'm in the middle of a pickle. Happy to help you build well, but... Who, may I ask, is calling? Ah, oh, goodness me, it's, it's Ethan. Oh, Ethan, are you in another pickle? What is it this time? Okay, we're in a bit of a, a cucumber, if you will. We're not quite yet a pickle. You see, I'm trying to build a wooden chair, but I don't know what to do. I know that I need to build well because I need this chair to last and keep lasting. That's why I decided to call you. Wow, that is quite the pickle. I do specialize in helping you build well, so you've called the right friend. Thanks, Stephanie. So, what do you think? What should I do first? Well, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have all your supplies. Supplies? <laughs> uh... Do you have any tools? You'll need a hammer and a saw if you want to build well for this project. Uh... <laughs> hammer? Yeah, I got that. I, I got a saw. I, I got some other tools. I think I've got all the tools I need. Okay, score. Now what? The next thing you need is some wood. Do you have any wood? Ah. Uh, I don't see any. I, it's somewhere back there. Great. The last thing you'll need is lots of nails that can hold that chair together. Do you have nails? Yes. Yes, I do have nails. Ow! Gee, fuck. Those poke. Did you pick up the nails too quickly again? No, 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 man. Okay, maybe. Yes, yes, I, I did. 
Okay, then the last thing you need on your supply list is a Band-Aid. Steph, I'm already three steps ahead of you. Good. You're on the right track, Ethan. You've got all the supplies you need to build wealth. Thank you, Stephanie. You are a real pal. No problem. Good luck, Ethan. And call the shop if you have any questions. We're here to help you build wealth. Building is better when we build together. That means a lot. Thank you for all of your help today. I have all the supplies to build well. I'll talk to you soon. Do you hear that? In order to build well, I need to have all of the right supplies. I have everything I need to build this chair well. And you know, all of this talk about building reminds me of a story that Jesus told in the Bible about two builders, and it goes like this. In Luke 6, verses 46 through 49, Jesus said, I will show you what it's like when someone comes to me, listens to my teaching, and then follows it. It is like a person building a house who digs deep and lays the foundation on solid rock. When the floodwaters rise and break against the house, it will stand firm because it's well built. But anyone who hears and doesn't obey is like a person who builds a house right on the ground without a foundation. And when the floods sweep down against that house, it will collapse into a heap of ruins. I want to be like the wise man who built well. And it's good to know that I'm set up for success because God has given me all that I need to build well. The Bible says in 2 Peter 1, 3, that his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Just like I now have everything I need to build my chair well, God gives you everything you need to live for Jesus and to build your life well. So what has God given you so that you can build your life well? Well, he gave you personality. You are God's masterpiece, his special creation that he handmade and designed on purpose for a purpose. God handcrafted every part of who you are we can celebrate who God created us to be because we were masterfully designed by Him. God also gave you your gifts and talents to help you build well. Whether you're good at teaching, leading, encouraging, speaking, writing, solving problems, whatever it is, God gave you your special abilities so that you can be a part of building well. You can use the gifts that God has given you to make a difference in the world and share the message of Jesus to everyone. God gave you your personality, your gifts and talents, and he also gave you just the right people to help you build. Building is better when building together. I was much better off when I had my friend, Miss Stephanie from the hardware store to help me. And you are a better builder when you are surrounded by other builders who want to build well. God gave you the family, the friends, and the leaders that you need to build your life well. So listen to your leaders, respect your parents, and choose your friends wisely. They're all going to help you build your life well. We have what it takes to build our lives well when we know and depend on God. He is our supply and he helps us to be like that wise man who built well. He gives us our personalities, our gifts and our talents and he surrounds us with the people in our lives who will help us build. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that in you we have everything we need to build well. Thank you for creating us wonderfully, for our personalities and for our gifts and for our talents. And thank you so much for the people that you have placed in our lives to help us build well. We love you so much, Jesus. Amen. All right. 
Now I have everything it takes to build this chair. So I better get to work. I will see you all next time. I need a cheese stick.